This is our first video on topic two, and in it we're going to explain the basic concept of cost. Uh, having completed a financial accounting course, you probably associate cost with expense. However, in terms of cost accounting, a cost is much broader than simply an expense and needs to be differentiated. So let's start by what a definition of a cost is. When you incur a cost, you give up a resource. It can be cash, it can be an asset, it can be the incurrence of a liability that's going to require you to make a future sacrifice of cash. For example, if you purchase equipment and you do so using a line of credit from the bank, well, you haven't given up cash, but you have uh, agreed to repay that money in the future, which will result in an outlay of cash sometime in the future. An expense, on the other hand, relates to an accounting period. Remember, expenses are matched to revenue within a period. If we do that, that is typically a product cost. If we can't match it to a particular unit of sale, we could have a period cost. Or we can recognize expense based on allocation, like depreciation or, or amortization. All expenses involve a cost. But not all expenses, or not all costs, excuse me, not all costs will become an expense. When we look at costs, we can categorize them into two groups. An outlaw, an outlay cost results uh, from a cash flow that has either happened in the past, a payment for merchandise that we still have in stock is not an expense because we still have it in inventory, but it resulted in a past cash outflow. You can also think of things like prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, where the cash flow occurs before the recognition of the revenue. We could have a future outlay related to uh, our operations. Again, these would be certain types of payables, accounts payable, wages payable, taxes payable. These will result in future cash flows and can have present cash flows where the outflow of cash and the recognition of expense occurs at the same time. Now, there are a few outlay costs that never result in an expense. The purchase of land. When you purchase land, you're going to have to lay out cash. But since the land is not depreciated, the cost of the land will not be allocated over a time period, and we will never have an expense recognition. We also could have situations where there's a cash outlay related to goodwill and the acquisition of another company. Again, it will require a cash outlay, either presently or in the future, but may not have any impact on expenses. <clears throat> 
Our other category is opportunity costs. Opportunity costs never become an expense. An opportunity cost occurs when you give up, sacrifice a future benefit because you chose a particular alternative course of action. For example, if you are thinking about expanding your plant and you choose to pay cash for that expansion and you're going to get the cash by selling some investments that are currently earning 5%, the interest that you're giving up on that investment is an opportunity cost and has to be considered when you're making the managerial decision. That's never going to be recognized as an expense. So we'll talk about opportunity cost when we're looking at relevant information for making decisions. And remember, this is really a term that was coined by economists. It is not going to result in a cash outlay. Instead, you are foregoing some benefit, typically cash, by choosing an alternative course of action. So an expense, remember, is a financial accounting concept, is the matching to revenue of the cost to produce that revenue, and all expenses are costs, but not all costs are expenses. In our next video, we're going to look at see how costs behave 